you're like me, you're at the end of an expansion, super bored and dying for content. To solve this, I began my journey to become the world's greatest speedrunner. Yeah, horrific visions. A few months ago, I became the world record holder for Orgrimmar and Stormwind Zero Mess and 5 Mess runs. There was quite the competition, but I was able to claim victory. Since the pre-patch, the speedrun.com rankings actually reset, so might as well just get two more records, right? I wanted to improve my last run's time, but it would be harder since they got rid of corruption with the pre-patch, and that was a large portion of the character's power. But there were a few more things I could get to make the run even faster. I got the obvious ones like life at potions, gun shoes, and uh, bear tartar. At the time, the Hallow's End event was going on, so I farmed the Broom, which was basically an insta-mount from the dungeon that's going on. I also went to Halls of Valor to farm the Trinket from Fenrir, which gives you 30% movement speed if you ever kill anything. Not only that, but I also faction changed to Alliance, just to get the Shadow Melds, to avoid fighting any mobs I didn't want to. After all that, I was ready for the run. So the first thing I want to do is just insta gun shoes injuries off the start. This is just to get a nice use out of gun shoes. Then you're going to cancel gun shoes here, click the portal, and just uh, gag around all this stuff, burst this big guy down. After all that's over, you want to alter time near the NPC you want to click, to get in combat with here, alter time back to start the RP, and then just make your way down killing mobs and clicking on the side objectives. There's one small thing with these tentacles is they'll burrow underground if you don't focus them fast enough, so uh, there's a small check there, but it's no big deal. I also messed up here and got, um, and I didn't jump for the affix in this zone, but it ended up not mattering. After clicking that box, you want to pull the pack at the ends and engage snag at the same time. Ideally, you evenly DPS these down so that they die at the same time. Here's a nice little part where you can see the broom mattering a little bit, just the insta mount. Then you can go pre-open this gate while the boss is doing RP, so you don't have to open it after you kill the boss. I also think I try to save a bit of time here with the pre-alter time. Didn't end up mattering too much, but still a small time save. Another nice insta mount. Here's a nice spot where the alliance actually mattered a bit. Can shut meld off this guy and insta remount. I think in this run I ended up getting the affix here. I didn't end up lusting Rexar here. I sometimes lost the third zone and sometimes Thrall. I'm not sure which one's better. On 5 mess, I feel like it's definitely better on Thrall, but I didn't expect him to die that quickly. You'll see at the end of this run. So I think it probably would have been better to use on the third zone. It's definitely not here. It's either last boss or in the third zone. I'll point it out when we get there. Alright, so here the only two mobs that matter are the ones in front of uh, Thrall's door, so I just quickly burst them down. I ignore everything else. After they die, I'm going to quickly run past everything and greater invis and remount. Going up this ramp is pretty normal. You just want to AoE these four guys down as you move through. And then what I do here is I don't actually just sit here and kill this guy. I bring him along with me until the next zone. This is because you don't actually have to kill him right there. You can kill him anywhere. And I thought it would be more uh, optimal to just AOE him down with this big pull. I also didn't end up lusting on this pull in this run. I f After uh, looking at it at the end, I think it would have definitely been more efficient. But I don't think it is the same case for the 5-mask run. I think... Uh, 
just because the last boss dies so fast in this run, it's uh, better to just use it here because you get more benefit from it. Just AOE all this stuff down. And sadly, in this run, I think there was like a tentacle that just barely burrowed, so small time loss there. And also, the mini boss didn't end up coming, so we had to just single target him down anyway, but not too big of a deal. Nothing special about this guy, just single targeting him down and then aiming the little guys after as I move to the next spot. Nice little blink and remount for the affix. And there's a nice little trick you can do here with alter time. Just alter time on the totem while the mobs are here. Alter time back, click the totem, then work your way up to the other one. Nice little uh, speed gain. I usually try to invis off that bridge pack, but as you can see, my Great Invis and Shadow Meld are both off or on cooldown still since I've been going so fast this run. So I'm not able to do that, but it's fine since we're going so fast this run. Just trying to. I, try, I did try to invis those off, but wasn't able to get it, so that's uh, a little bit unfortunate. And I have an Arcane Missiles proc here, so this boss right here is going to pretty much instantly die. So it's really good for us. Alright, and here's the spot where I decide to lust. I, like, I feel like... In my head, this would have been the better spot to lust, just because it's like a single target boss fight. But as you can see, he just instantly dies. So, it probably was just better to lust the previous zone. But yeah, that run was about 6.05, and I did a 5 mass run right after that, but I'm not going to show it, just because it's pretty much the same thing. And slower, so more boring. Both runs ended up getting verified on speedrun.com, under the Ogremar category for the pre-patch. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check me out on Twitch, I try to stream every day at twitch.tv slash I am fired up. But apart from that, uh, see you guys later.